Hi there, this is Miss Nelson here, and today we are doing lesson 1.2 of our fourth grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 1.2 is reading and writing numbers, and there's basically three things that you need to know and learn in lesson 1.2, and those three things are highlighted here in the picture, and that is how to write a number in standard form, word form, and expanded form. So in order to know how to do these three things, you need to know place value really well. So we have a little help cheat sheet right here for us. It is our place value chart. We have two periods showing up on this place value chart, the ones period and the thousands period, which means that we have space for numbers all the way up to 100,000, or I guess 999, 100,999. But anyway, we are going to learn how to put a number into our place value chart and then write it three other ways. So in our example here, it wants us to write the number 262,400 in the place value chart. So 262,400. Now, standard form is the easiest. It's just a regular way that you see a number written. You just put the comma after your first three numbers. That's standard form, super simple. Word form is just what would come out of your mouth when you are reading this number out loud. So the way that you do that after you have it in the place value chart is you start over here with your, your biggest period that you have. Our biggest period is our thousands period. So you take these three numbers and you say them just like normal, 262, and then you say the period, 262,000, and then you say your next period, 400. So 262,400. So we say the numbers on the bottom and then the period that they're in and then the next numbers. When you're in the ones, you don't have to say ones period though. So you wouldn't say 262,400 ones. You would just say 262,400. So that is a check for standard form, check for word form. The last is expanded form. And this is the one that's trickiest for most fourth graders, but it's actually not that hard especially if you're using a place value chart and you write the number out in your place value chart. Now here's a trick for expanded form. You always start with your biggest number, which would be the one that's furthest to the left. In this case, it's a two. I'm gonna write my two, and then I'm gonna count all the places behind my number two and make them zeros. So one, two, three, four, five places after my two. So I'm gonna do five, zeros. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to remember to put my comma after my three numbers. So now I've taken care of my first number. I can cross it out and I can write my next number, which is a six. So I'll put down my six and I'll count how many zeros I have to have after it. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Put my comma where it's supposed to be. And I've taken care of my six. Next number is a two. I'm gonna write down my two and I'm gonna count how many spaces I have after it to make zeros. One, two, three. One, two, three. Make sure I put my comma in there. Cross off my two, I'm done with it. Next number is a four. Write down my four. Count how many spaces I have after it. May need to be zeros. One, two. Write that down. Cross off my four and I'm done. Now if you come to a zero, you don't have to write anything. So I'm not gonna write zero. And here's a zero. I don't have to write that either. So now I am done. So expanded form means I'm gonna add all these together and I should come up with my original number, which is 262,400. So when I add those up, 
it should be 262,400 and it is. Now I want to show you something. Every time, this is just a little hint. See how I lined mine up? They did their straight across here for their expanded form, but I lined mine up so that I could show you this little trick. And that is that when you're starting with your biggest number, in our case, we had five zeros after it. So I did five zeros. Well, if I'm just moving one space over it, my zeros are gonna just decrease by one. So since I started out with having to write five extra zeros, now when I move over, I'll just have to write four extra zeros. One, two, three, four. Then when I move over to my two, I should have only had to write three extra zeros. One, two, three. And when I move over to my four, two extra zeros. One, two. So you see that part pattern? Every time I move over to write my next number, all I'm doing is taking away one of these zeros that was after it. So I started with five, went down to four, then three, then two. I would have had one if I had a number in my tens place, but I don't. All right, hope this helps you. Thank you.